China just revealed a new type of factory to the work, the Dark Factory. This comes as American manufacturers struggle to compete with rising labor costs and outdated production systems. Chinese officials confirmed yesterday they're building 20 new fully automated factories within two years. These facilities operate 24-7 without humans, lights or brakes using artificial intelligence and 5G connectivity. Ford's CEO warned this week that China's automated electric vehicle production poses an existential threat to global automakers. The numbers reveal why American industry should worry right now. China installed 290,000 industrial robots in 2022 alone. That's more than half of all robots installed worldwide that year. But here's what makes this different from normal factory automation. These dark factories require zero human workers inside the production floor. Xiaomi's new Beijing plant produces one smartphone every second without a single person on site. The facility runs in complete darkness since robots don't need lights. No heating, no cooling, no bathrooms, no break rooms needed. Chinese President Xi Jinping personally drives this robot revolution through the Made in China 2025 policy. Beijing invested $1.4 billion in robotic research and development last year alone. This government backing gives China advantages American companies can't match. Foxconn already replaced 60,000 workers with robots at one plant. The company plans to automate 30% of all operations by next year. BYD's dark factories pump out electric vehicles around the clock. These facilities give Chinese automakers cost advantages that threaten American car companies directly. The International Federation of Robotics reports China's robot density reached 392 robots per 10,000 workers. That's nearly triple the global average of 141. American manufacturing employment faces immediate risks. Manufacturing expert Dr. Elena Rodriguez explains the threat clearly. Each dark factory eliminates hundreds to thousands of jobs permanently. American workers can't compete with machines that never sleep or take breaks. Treasury Secretary Scott Besant must address this manufacturing crisis immediately. China's subsidized automation creates unfair trade advantages that violate international agreements. Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth should recognize the national security implications here. America's defense industrial base depends on maintaining domestic manufacturing capabilities. President Trump campaigned on bringing manufacturing jobs back to America. China's dark factory expansion directly challenges that promise. The speed of China's automation caught American companies completely off guard. While US manufacturers debated automation strategies, China built hundreds of pilot factories. These aren't experimental facilities anymore. China's dark factories produce real products at scales American plants can't match. Commerce Secretary Howard Lutnick faces pressure to respond with new industrial policies. America needs its own automation strategy that protects workers while maintaining competitiveness. Labor Secretary Lori Chavez de Rema must prepare American workers for this transition. Retraining programs and new safety nets become essential as automation accelerates. China's dark factories represent more than technological progress. They're weapons in an economic war for global manufacturing dominance. American leadership must wake up to this challenge now. Every month of delay gives China more advantages in critical industries. The solution isn't copying China's approach exactly. America needs automation that strengthens our economy without abandoning our workers completely. This requires tough decisions from President Trump's administration today. The dark factory revolution won't wait for American politics to catch up.